Hello and welcome to the Outpost RV. My name is Jeremy, our cameraman is Henry, and today we're going to take a look at the Gray Wolf 26 DBH. Before we get started, this camper comes in just under 32 foot, tongue to bumper, and weighs just under 6,200 pounds empty. As we start get started up front here, it comes with a power tongue jack with the LED light so you can see what's going on if it's nighttime and you're hooking up. Two 20 pound LP tank bottles with the hard shell cover, quick access lid, and those will be filled by the Outpost RV. We have your Group 27 Deep Cycle Marine Battery. We have the Juice Pack option on this camper, which means there's a 50 watt solar panel, as well as the Group 27 battery that comes with it. Diamond Plate Rock Guard with the curved radius front end right here. We have your storage in the front. You'll notice plenty of storage underneath. Your power cord comes with the camper. We have manual override handles in there as well. And they also put a light in there, which is very convenient. We have upgraded power jacks on the camper. How that will operate, uh, there's a switch right underneath here. You simply hold that, one leg will come down, the other one will come down as well, and then uh, they will equal out in pressure. And that is designed just to stabilize the camper for you. Right behind me here, we have your 15 foot power awning with the LED accent light. Each leg is adjustable, so if the sun's coming down or you need to adjust the pitch of the awning, you can do that on both sides. Sturdy steps going into the camper where each leg is adjustable. Oversized grab handle, the full-size entrance door with the black tempered glass, and the full-size screen door as well. And in that door, we have an integrated window, which has been a really big improvement and has gone over very well for us. Outside kitchen, we have your water source, an ice maker, mini fridge, and then your two burner stove. There is an LP quick disconnect right underneath here. So you simply just take the hose, run it down, and you use the LP that is on the camper. You do not have to take an extra tank for that. We have your furnace vent right here. Outside entertainment center, we have the LED lit speakers right here and your TV connections. The TV bracket is actually the exact same one on the inside, so you simply lift your TV up, bring it out here, and slide it in. Down below, we have the center cap popped off. These are the quick, easy lube axles. All, each of the wheels, all four wheels have self-adjusting brakes and a tire pressure monitoring system. So how that works, the cap will let you know how much uh, pressure to put in the tire. The side will be green if you're good on air and it will turn red if you're low. So I will unscrew this to demonstrate. So you can just walk around and do a visual check before you leave for your next destination to make sure you're good on air. We have your black tank flush over here. So when you're done camping for the week or weekend, you simply hook up the water hose here and that'll blast out the black tank for you. Another entrance door, this will go directly into the bathroom area. And we are pet friendly. We have your leash latch here so the furry family members can tag along. In the back, we have your four inch tube bumper where your sewer hose would store when you're traveling. Travel rack with the spare tire. And then right up top in the middle, you'll notice the black camera. And now comes standard with the backup camera. So a really nice safety feature there. One great thing about the bunk beds is the extra storage. You'll notice all the storage on the off door side here. We have this really nice LED light that will illuminate everything for you. So if it's dark outside, you can still see what's going on. We have your outside shower with hot and cold water. It has the coil hose sprayer here. Your water connections are to the left. We have your city water on the right hand side and fresh water on the left. The fresh water you'll simply fill up if you're dry camping or boondocking. So you can turn your water pump on to use that. The city water is if you're at a campground or your house, you hook the water hose up right there and that will pressurize the lines for you. This is a 30 amp unit. And again, it comes with a 25 foot detachable power cord. And then as we drop down below, you'll notice the dump station where the black handle correlates with the black tank, the gray handle for your gray tank. We have the slide out here. This camper is actually sold and prepped for the customer. That awning slide out topper that you see right there is optional. Uh, that is not standard on the Gray Wolf product, but it is a very nice upgrade. Cable connection here, so that way if you're at a campground that offers cable, you simply plug it right in and that'll go to your main TV inside. And last but not least, we have your water heater. It is a six gallon DSI standing for direct spark ignition, so you do not have to ignite it, it will light itself. It is gas and electric, your electric switch is right here. Your gas switch will be on the inside, which I'll show you in just a little bit. And you can get up to 10 gallons of hot water if you're running it gas or electric, and up to 16 gallons if you run them both together. That concludes our outside walkthrough. 
of the Gray Wolf 26 DBH. Now we'll head to the inside. As we head to the inside, you'll notice that the Gray Wolf product offers a ton of amenities on the inside here. Lots of seating, storage, a uh, very modern look as well. As we get started right inside the main entrance door, we have the main control panel, which is where you would turn on your gas side of the water heater, the water pump, check your tank levels, run the awning and slide room in and out. There's also a blue LED accent light right above the slide room, and I'm gonna turn that on so that way when we get back over there, you can see that. You can actually see a little bit of the reflection right now in the glass. In the kitchen area, lots of LED lights. They really light it up over here. Glass front on the storage doors, gives it a nice home feeling. Microwave with a range vent that goes to the outside. Kitchen window, the backsplash for your three burner stove actually doubles as a cutting board. So that will pull off for you. And you also have the oven with the three burner stove. Lots of counter space, high rise faucet with the pull out sprayer. We also have the farmhouse style kitchen sink, very large single bowl sink here. And of course it comes with the cover for prep space if you're not using the sink. Down below we have some storage drawers and doors. Underneath the oven sits the furnace. And right off to the other side is gonna be your converter down below the refrigerator. The red key is a 12 volt cutoff switch that will kill all 12 volt power to the battery if it's in storage or gonna be sitting for a while. To the right of that is a 12 volt meter so you can keep an eye on the battery. And we have your furnace vent. It is ducted through the cabinetry on this model. This is an 11 cubic 12 volt refrigerator, which is why we have the juice pack option. So you can run that while you're traveling down the road. Uh, that's been a nice option that's gone over very well. Huge pantry area. Pantries are always a great thing. Lots of storage, tons of shelves in here. Each shelf has a lip on it so that way items won't roll out or fall out while you're traveling down the road. In the back corner, we have the bathroom that again has the entrance door from the outside here. Nice large shower area with a skylight above it. We do have a um, high speed vent fan in here. I believe there's three or four speeds to that. Nice exhaust fan. Toilet sitting right beside the shower area. And then we have the lavatory with storage down below. Very large sink area. A lot of bathrooms you'll find just a really small sink. Uh, this is a, a very large one actually. Corner medicine cabinet, which also gives you more storage behind there, means that it is on an angle. Right beside the bathroom, we have the bunk bed area. Each bunk is gonna have a window and its own power source as well. You can see the 110 outlet up top, 12 volt charge port. These are the double bunks with the teddy bear mattresses. Very comfy, lots of room, and they also have their own light here as well. We have the integrated ladder that can fold up for storage. Carbon monoxide detector underneath it down there at the floor. We have your digital thermostat, which will control the air conditioner and the furnace for you. And right beside it, kind of hard to see with a shadow, is another 110 outlet. Uh, they really have outlets all throughout this thing. They do a great job with that. In the slide room, we have the zebra blinds. As you can see, they give it a really nice look and a nice accent in the camper. You can have those partially open to let some sunlight in or darkened out like they are now. The large U-shaped dinette with storage underneath each bench seat. The two on the end here are full length uh, storage drawers. I will pull this one out so you can see these things go all the way back. Tons of storage down here. There is storage underneath the middle one in the back as well. Uh, just a little bit tougher to get to, but uh, great storage nonetheless. We have the jackknife sofa, and that will lay flat and turn into a sleeping area. Just like that U-shaped dinette, you'll see pictures on our website of that going down into another sleeping area. Fireplace down below with a shoe garage underneath that, so you can kick your shoes off right inside the door. Some storage area. We have your stereo, which is AM, FM, and Bluetooth compatible. And up top where your TV would hang and the connections right up top. This camper is equipped with a subwoofer on top. 
There's also two inside speakers. That will be one right there. And there's also another one directly behind me. Again, lots of 110 outlets here. Window on this side. We have mirrored hanging storage on both sides, along with the overhead cabinets with a door, so you can use that as storage as you're traveling down the road. Queen size bed. And uh, the pillows and comforter do come with the camper here. Another window on the other side, 110 and 12 volt charge ports on both sides of the bed. And there's a TV backer here, so you can actually add a TV in the bedroom if you wanted to. And that will conclude the walkthrough for our Gray Wolf 26 DBH. I appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions, feel free to contact myself or Henry at 866 338 9845. Thanks for watching and have a great day.